Okay, so I'm going to go over all these study guide questions here. So write 50% as a fraction and a decimal. Simplify if you can. So 50% um, as a fraction is just 50 over 100. So any percent you can write as the percent over 100, even if it's more than 100. Like 150 would be 150 over 100. That simplifies if you divide by 50 over 50. So divide by 50 over 50. That would be one half. And then the decimal, you just take 50. Um, you remove the, uh, the, you remove, sorry, the percent. And then you add a decimal after the last digit. And then you actually take that decimal and you move it one. Oh, that was not good. You move it one, two um, with my little squig squigglies there. And then that would be 0 0.50. And you always put a zero in front of the decimal to make it proper uh, math. So write 72 over 100 as a percent and decimal. So 72 over 100 is just 72%. And as a decimal, you move it from 72, you move it over 1, 2, and it would be 0 0.72. Write 0.35 as a percent and as a fraction. Well, 0.35, you're going to take 0 0.35 and you're actually going to move the decimal place two places back to the um, right. And you would then write that as 35%. You don't need that beginning zero anymore. So it would just be 35. And then as a fraction, 35% is 35 over 100. Okay. What is 50% of 10? So in this equation, remember of means multiply. So I'm going to put um, an X where the of is and then multiply times 10. I don't want that to be big. Um, and then 50%, you can either change it to a fraction, um, like one half, 50 over 100 is one half, C up here. Or you can use the percent form of 50, which is up at the top there. So it's 0 0.50 times 10 on a calculator, and that would be 5. So your answer is 5. Um, so solve this proportion. So if I give you a proportional percent problem, all you're doing is solving for the missing piece. So you're going to cross multiply. Oh, that was really great. Um, N times 20. Oh, that was even better. <laughs> uh, I'll insert a text box here. So it's 20 times N equals 12 times 100. Um, simplifying that even further would be 20n equals 1200. Divide both sides by 20 would be n equals, sorry, sixty. so it's sixty percent. I'm going to move that over so I can keep writing. Um, for the, the rest. So 60% is the missing N. So N is 60. Okay, now we're on to these types of problems. What percent is 5 of 7? So we're going to use this over here. Is over of equals percent over 100. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll do the squigglies. So is 5 goes on top of the fraction. So it's going to be 5 um, of... 7, we'll go on the bottom, I'll put a fraction line in, okay, and then we're going to set up equals, ah, equals, okay, what percent, so we don't know the percent, so I'm going to use N, and then it's over 100, and from there you can cross multiply and divide, 500, um, so you cross multiply and divide here again, Cross multiply. Oh, that's really ugly. <laughs> It'd be 500 equals 7n. Divide both sides by 7. Um, 500 divided by 7 equals n. Ugh. And you can plug that into a calculator. I'm not going to do it. Um, what number is 60% of 10? So we're going to use the is of part here to do that as well. Um, so what number 
is what we're trying to find out. What number is, is our missing piece. So that would be the red. 60% is the decimal, so that would be the blue. Of 10 is the green. So we can just use this and create our fractions. Um, I'm going to steal this and replace the numbers. So is is our unknown. Our bottom number of is 10 and our percent is 60 over 100. Cross multiply um, would get you, see how I'm copying and pasting just to use this. It'd be 100 and on the, the, the side and then 60 times 10 is 600. Divide both sides by 100 and you'll get n equals 6. Last one, estimate 50%, 52% of 60. So when I say estimate the percent, we're going to round, we're going to round 52% to 50%. And then from there, you're just finding 50% of 60. And 50% is 0 0.5 times 60. That would be 30. And that is how you do those. I'm sure this was a great video. Hopefully this helped.